If yes. God, yes. the Son of God, whoever, yeah. gives you five prophecies, yeah. can one of them be uh, uh, false? No. Right. What are you doing now? You're saying, yeah, but don't look at the temple prophecy. Look at what our God predicted about sacrifice. And he stopped. Can that be true? Uh, can that be a, a, a logical stance? Saying that God made five prophecies. But it doesn't matter one of them came false. Look at the sacrificial one. It came, it came true. That's what he's saying. فتعالى الله الملك الحق ولا تعجل بالقرآن من قبل أن يقضى إليك وحيه وقل رب زدني علما Let me ask you a question. Oh, all of it. Your own Bible. Now, now we're back online. No, I we're, understand where we your came own from. Bible gives you a clue. And you're asking me these questions. If Moses came and said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord mm. our God, the Lord is one. Right? Yeah, yeah. He said it in Deuteronomy 6 4. Then in Mark 12 29, Jesus repeats it. Why does he repeat it? If according to you, the prophet comes with a different thing. Okay, he confirmed what they already knew, and as has always been the case with, the, as you just rightly said, with God's people, they go through cycles of belief, weak in belief, and then apostasy, and it goes like that. And I can right. understand why something. Why, why would he have to reconfirm I, I understand. Why does he have to reconfirm now it? Now I understand how we got here. I asked you a question, what was the gospel, the message of Jesus Christ? And you said it was to confirm the oneness of God in the sheep. This is what you said, yes? <laughs> Right. Would you agree that's how we kind of got here? Yeah? And kind I was saying of, kind to you, of. and then I said to you, why would Jesus <coughs> come with a message that the, the recipients already had? That was how we got here. No. Right. You asked me why God sent these prophets. And I said to him, each time, the Quran tells us yeah. that each time these rabbis and priests twisted, changed the Gospels for their own uh, ends. Yeah, and then the prophet is sent to correct the previous... For sure, for, yeah. sure, for sure. That's how we start the conversation. Yeah. And then we got onto the gospel message, Jesus but Christ. But you disagreed with this, that they came to confirm the, uh, the previous messages. messages. You disagreed with me. And I said to you that Jesus repeated exactly what Moses said. He accepted right. no, he accepted yeah. no. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So the Bible says... Bible, the Bible is for them. Okay, okay. Yeah. But my point to you was this. My point was, why would God send Jesus with one message, which was the Shema, worship the Lord God, the one God, okay? Why would he bring that to people who already were doing it? They were not going through a period of apostasy at the time of Jesus. And then she's got back. Because, well, no, Jesus didn't just bring one message. If you can show me, within the three, 200 years either side of Jesus coming, a period of apostasy within Israel, I'd be really interested to see. No, apostasy but I don't for think... pollution of the religion, correct? Would you not I, say... don't, I don't think there was ever a time in where there was, money. there was, humanly speaking, in a, just money. like in Islam and Christianity, there is never going to be this time where everything is working in use. Okay, <laughs> okay. But, but the point is, the thing that I'm really trying to grasp is... 
the Shema was not something that needed to be relayed by the Messiah at the time of Jesus. You can, you can see in the Old Testament, yeah, you can see in the Old Testament when they worshipped the golden calf, you can see during their period in Babylon, and there were whole times where, where, the, where, the, where the Jews strayed away from God. But the period when Jesus came was not a time when their religiosity and their understanding of the one God was ever, ever disputed. So this is why I can't understand why you would say the message of the Messiah was purely to restate something that I'm saying they already had. So why does your gospel say that? There is one sentence or two. The whole mission of the Messiah was as the redeemed. First of all, I need to. No, 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 you're not answering the question. No, no, could, could, yeah. could you allow me to answer yeah, how, sure. how I want to answer it? Right? The Messiah, we'd have to look at what were the Jews expecting of the Messiah? Would you hazard a guess? Do you think it was just. There were three things they were expecting. Right, yeah. They had the Messiah to be from the, the lineage of David, King David. Yeah, for sure. Right. And yeah. he had to come and defeat the enemy and rule over Israel. Yeah, as a king. Yeah, as a king. Yeah. yeah. And this is why the Jews don't accept Jesus because he failed in three. Right. Right. Yeah. But go, uh, go back to the question that I asked you. Yeah. That if you dispute the fact that Jesus came to correct people's belief to go back to one God, why does the Gospel of Mark repeat what Moses said? The reason why I'm disputing this. Is no, 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 no. Not Messiah, you. Not no, you. No, not no, you. No, no, no. The, yeah, the, the, the messianic expectation of the Jews was never for the Messiah to come purely to tell them something they already had. He came to fulfill the prophecies, not to bring another prophecy, to fulfill the prophecies, and that meant that the sacrificial system would end. Okay, that was another one of the messianic expectations. And Jesus, and this is really, really important. I hope you don't mind me. Will you allow me? But we will. We'll go back no, to no, the no, point. No, no. I tell you what. We'll just do this once, right? This is the temple. Yes. Okay. This is very, 70 very AD, important. Yeah, we know. Okay. Do you know that Jesus prophesied the fall of the temple when he said he would no. be raised he said, to the ground? Yeah. And, and he said to them, "Do you see these things? Truly, I say to you, so one stone here will be left on another." <laughs> will not be turned down, Matthew, Mark, and Jesus said to them, do you see these great buildings, not one stone will be left upon another, which will not be turned down, there's plenty of them, but the last one is this, look in Luke, but when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, you will know that the desolation is near, and this came to pass, did that was, okay, let me ask you about that, let me ask you, you brought that up, but I'll still go back to my point, no, 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 let's, let's hold this up, let's hold it up, right, so Jesus says the temple will be destroyed, destroyed, what did he say to the ground, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It will be brought to the ground, okay. torn down, torn to, down the ground, yeah. to the ground. Right, yeah. When the Jews pray today in Jerusalem, yeah, they've got wall, haven't they? What wall is that? The Western Wall. Isn't Western it? Wall. Is yeah. that the original wall? I wouldn't know. That's the original wall. Okay. All right. If, if it is, yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let well, me yeah, ask you a question. Yeah, yeah, Let me ask you a question. I, I, I think I know. I know where original going. question. I know going. So yeah. was it brought down to the to, to, to the okay. ground? Okay. So you're asking for it to be completely obliterated. Is that not what it says to the ground? Okay. Do you have you heard of the word hyperbole? The Jews used is, it a lot. Was that hyperbole? No, I, I just was that hyperbole? hyperbole? A metaphor? No, I need, no, was no, that a metaphor? Hyperbole is a, is a, is a way of speaking. To give, no, no, this is. If you're saying to me that this is an extraordinary uh, prophecy that came to pass based on the fact the Western Wall is still there, yeah. one of the big things was it ended 2,000 years of the sacrifice. Don't go to sacrifice, go to the wall. Is, no, go to the, the wall. No, this is the most important. Why are you part. shifting the goalposts? No, no, I'm not. The end of the 2,000 year sacrificial system Listen, happened it did, after it didn't, Jesus it didn't. AD 70. No, 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 that's no, no, the Romans take it. This wasn't taken at the time. It was the Romans. <laughs> Romans. No, 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 no. Go back to Matthew. Matthew. Go back to Matthew. First of all, no, this is a, this is really, really an important that, point. That, that you say, guess not. Do you do you no, 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 no. do you know that the sacrificial system ended in AD 70? Listen, even if I give you the sacrificial system, let's go back to the temple. Let's yeah, go back no, to the temple. Yeah. Right. What does it say? Yes. Not one stone here will be left on another. Okay. <laughs> not one stone here will be left on another, which will not be torn down. Okay. Is the Wailing Wall still there? Yeah, yeah, yes, of course. Even if I give you the sacrificial... Okay, I will I'll try and right. explain it. Do you really think, when Jesus made that prophecy, that he was saying, I bet you if there were two stones on top of each other, you'd probably make the same claim. It's a whole wall. No, can I explain It's this? about I'll ten be, foot high I'll be wall. very, very brief. Hyperbole was a Jewish way of saying things in an extreme way to leave you with the impression he was trying to make. When Jesus said not one stone, right, let me, he was you asked me a question, let me answer. I've nearly yeah. finished the question. I 
was not even a question, I'm answering your question, right? What Jesus was saying was, the temple would be destroyed, yeah. armies would camp about it, the sacrificial system would end, all of those things happened. The fact the Western Wall is still there doesn't detract from the fact that the sacrificial system ended, all the priests were killed, it was the end of so much in 2,000 years, and the whole of Jerusalem was desolated. Admittedly, some, some walls were still up, but if you are trying to say that there's nothing extraordinary in Jesus saying that the temple would be destroyed, the most important part is the Jews don't sacrifice anymore. Will, will that be reinstated that. when he comes back? What the, no, the sacrificial system ended. Right. Well, will not be reinstated. Right, okay. As far as Christians are concerned. I'm not going to go down that road. Okay, That's yeah, a long yeah. discussion. For, but sure. let, let me give you the sacrificial system. Yeah. There, when somebody says to you, not a single stone will stand, what do you yeah. understand from it? I mean, if I read it. Okay. Someone told me today in the park, and this is yeah. very important, I will kick your head in, or words to that effect. When he said that, I don't think he was saying that there would be nothing left of my head. He was trying to leave me with a very strong impression. No. No, no, that's, Jesus a, that's a bad example. That, no, 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 this that's is a bad very, example. very important. I'll tell you uh, why. There are lots of things in the yeah. Bible, like unless you hate your mother, sister, brother, call no man father. All of these things are Jewish forms of hyperbole to leave you in no mistake to what he was saying. Was the temple a physical building? Of course it was. Was yes. it a hyperbole or was it a, a metaphorical well, building? We know. Let me finish. Yeah, you, you, you spoke. Yeah. So the building was not metaphorical. No. The building existed sure. in physical form. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. When Jesus says not a single stone yeah. will be left standing, yeah. was he talking about the physical building? Yes. Right. He was talking so about it was not hyperbole, no. it was not a metaphor. So when he said not a single stone will be left there, yeah. what do you understand knowing that that's a physical right. building? What I understand is Jesus was saying the temple will be destroyed. To that's the ground. exactly it. The, the word used is what? Right. To the ground. Stone. Right? No, no, it is, it is. Okay. It does. I, I, that's what he meant. No, no, no. Again, if somebody says... You're disputing the Gospel of Matthew. Bring no, it out not, again, we'll see it. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. If, if you're going to try and claim... <laughs> no, no, no. I'm repeating what you think. No, 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 no. That there's nothing extraordinary about these prophecies based on the fact that a wall was left. I want to counter that with the fact that when Jesus said it, first of all, he wanted to leave them with in no, no doubt that the destruction of Jerusalem would happen and the temple would be right. destroyed. The choice of words are very important, right? Let, let, let me, yes. If he said the temple will be destroyed, yeah. I left it at that, yeah. I'll agree with you. Yeah. But yeah. is there a deliberate choice of words here? What? Say that again. So he, is yeah. that a deliberate choice of words? Yeah, so Jesus the word chosen here, here, not one stone here, not one stone here will be left. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If, I, if, okay. if I said to you, let me put it differently. Okay, if I yeah. said to you here Straining that I'm going to remove to mind, I'm sorry, yeah. but it does. No, no, it uh, this is a prophecy. A this is a prophecy yeah. by Jesus. Right? Did it come to pass? It didn't come to pass. So the according to the term. According to what Matthew put you know down. What? Let's go straight to the heart of this. Was the temple can you let me finish? Can you, can you will, let yeah, me finish? On, on, on. I'm not talking about the Romans destruction. I'm talking about the prediction of Jesus. Okay. If I said to you that I'm going to remove all the ladders here, not yeah. a single ladder will remain. Yeah, it's a very specific what word. would you understand from that? Will there be any ladders here? Uh, I can only answer again, just like with someone saying I'm going to kick your head in. No, 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 no. Go to my ladder. You. Stay really with my lead? ladder. Stay with my ladder. Yeah, okay. If I say I remove all the ladders, yeah. I'll take them away. Not a yeah. single ladder will be left here. Okay. Will there be a ladder here? No, yeah, go on. I'm, I'm, gonna I'm asking you, will yeah, there be any agree. ladders left? No, of course there will. No. Right. No, so no. this is what Jesus is telling you. Not a single stone will be left. Okay. But today we have a 15-foot wall. Yeah, okay. These are specific words. Okay, Let, let's just say if it's happened in Speaker's Corner. Imagine the there said, no more speakers in Speaker's Corner, all of you out. And effectively Speaker's Corner ceased to exist. So if you turned up one day and you were speaking, would you then say to me, well, actually Speaker's Corner wasn't destroyed because he's still speaking. That's very ambiguous, you know, though. No, it isn't. No, but it isn't. his example is about it? the ladders is very specific, just like Jesus. Give, I'll words. give you another yeah. difference. I'll I mean, give you another. Is there really much profit Listen, I'll give you another. Is it Neil? Neil. Yes. Colin. Yes. Colin. Yeah. I'll give you another example. Yeah. And I uh, need to know your name as well. Ilias. Ilias. I'll give you another difference. Oh, I am not Jesus. You Nor view, am I. Nor hold on, hold on. You view Jesus as God. Right? Um, as Son of God I mean, or divine. We'll yeah. When the divine so. says there will yeah. be no stone unturned, you don't compare him to me saying kicking your head in. Right, yeah. He 
made a specific prophecy, not yes. a single stone. Why did he say not okay. a single stone? He could have just said the temple will no longer be there, it would be destroyed. Then, then I would accept that. But he, there is a deliberate choice of words here. Yeah, yeah, you have yeah. to admit that. Uh, you, you know what, can, I'm going to answer that, but I'm still saying to you, when someone says not one stone will yeah. be left upon another in ancient times, I doubt whether they were saying that every single stone... Where's your evidence making, for that? Oh, shall I give you the evidence? Yeah. And I'm going to ask you another question. For when answer. they said not a single I'm gonna, stone... I'm going to give you the evidence. Yeah. Was the temple... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Was the temple destroyed in AD 70? But not, not to the ground. Did it cease to function? Was it the end of the... The Romans set fire to it and demolished it. Destroyed. Yeah. But it wasn't destroyed. completely to the ground. Was it destroyed? It wasn't to the ground. But was it destroyed? Yes, it was. Yes. It was destroyed. The temple was destroyed. That had stood for, what, 500 years, the second temple? It was about, yeah, 500 years. So the sacrificial system lasted 2,000 years? Yes. So the temple was destroyed? Yeah. Jesus prophesied it be destroyed? Why are you going to sacrificial system? No, 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 no. this is so, so important. Ignoring, Everything is important no, 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 to you. No, you're ignoring, I think, all of these really massive things that happened. I think it's the other way around, Colin. No, 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 no I, I'm trying not to. Sorry to. to no, 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 you please do. But I, 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 I'm, maybe I'm too old to be offended. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. It's not meant to be. There's no, he's not far behind. I know, I know. There's a good yeah. Tell you what, there's a better spirit here than there was with that atheist guy. Right, Colin, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Man. You went back to uh, sacrificial system. Yes. Even if I give you that, that the sacrificial system stopped that. For 2,000 years. Let, let me let me come to that. To if me. God, yes. if God, yes. the Son of God, whoever, yeah. gives you five prophecies, yeah. can one of them be uh, uh, false? No. Right. What are you doing now? You're saying, yeah, but don't look at the temple prophecy. Look at what our God predicted about sacrifice, and he stopped. Can that be true? Uh, can that be a, a, a logical stance? Saying that God made five prophecies, but it doesn't matter one of them came false. Look at the sacrificial one, it came, it came true. Yeah. That's what you're saying. No, all I'm saying is that Jesus prophesied this. Yeah. Right, I mean, there were lots of messianic expectations. They were some alluded to no, in no. the Old Testament. Is that what you're talking about? Let me ask or? you, yeah, please. who is Jesus according to your belief? Are we moving now on to another? No, no, same point. Who is Jesus according to your belief? Who is Jesus? Jesus is he a divine? Is, Jesus is the son of God. Is he divine himself? Um, As such, is he divine? He's he has a human nature and a divine nature. We so, as Christians, yeah. No, Jesus, the man, has a divine nature, but so, he's human and divine. We'll go into that. Right, but okay. This is what Christians believe. So he's yeah. divine. Yes. Forget the human yes, nature. Yes, I'm yes, addressing yes. his divinity. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm so he's divine. Hide. So when when yeah. uh, divine, so divine means. The qualities of God. She has yeah, attributes yeah, sure, of God. Right. Sure. The attri one of the attributes of God is all-knowing. True or not? All-knowing. One of the attributes of God the Father is all-knowing, yes. Does Jesus have that attribute? Jesus is not God the Father. <laughs> is he not divine? Jesus is divine. So what makes him divine if he's missing an attribute? Okay. I'll answer it. I'm going to try yeah. my best to answer this. I think that question is one of a series of questions that most Christians get asked here in the park. And most of them, I don't think, have even thought of a way of answering. So I'm going to have a go at answering your question. I'm going to still go back to the temple, though. That's the main point. Yeah, 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 that's a good point. That's yeah. a really, really good point. Now. Was Jesus divine? No, it's not that. What made him divine if he didn't have the attribute of all knowing? Well, what you're saying is, why did Jesus not know? Because no, 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 no. You have to stick, yeah, on. stay yeah, with me, Colin. Yeah, 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 You're taking on. my... There's a lot going on behind yeah. me. Go I said, is Jesus divine? He said, no. He said, only the Father is divine. No, I didn't. No, I said, did you, is, does Jesus know, know everything? That was what I said. Uh, ask me the question again. I'm going to try and stay with you. Go on. Is Jesus divine? Jesus Christ yes. has a human and a divine nature. Right. That's my answer. Forget the human side of him. Well, I'm addressing Mary, the divine so side of him. Okay, yeah, right. he has divinity. The divine yeah. side of him is the all-knowing. Is the divine side of him all-knowing? Yeah. Why is this a difficult question? No, it isn't. I want to give you the... I want to Ask give me you... about no, God. No, no, Ask no, me no, about no, Allah. No, no, no. Hang on, hang on. Allah is divine. Hang on. Allah is all-knowing. All-knowledge. All he has... 
it's all it's beyond yeah. anything can, you can, 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 you yeah. can you tell me all his 99 attributes? Can you tell me all his 99 attributes? I don't think you've memorised all those, no. <laughs> well, there are more than 99, wise, 99, but we can only comprehend yeah, yeah, yeah. 99. Okay, anyway. okay, in answer to your question, yeah. right. I said to you that Jesus has two natures, human and divine, yeah. and he also is not God the Father. Okay, now I'm going to give you some scripture no, no, no. verses. No, no, no. I, I, need it, I need you to be specific, because you keep shifting the, the point. Well, no, I'm trying to understand. I've, I've asked you what yeah. made Jesus divine yeah. if he doesn't have the qualities of a divine being. Okay. Right. What made him divine? God the Father is the source. Do you understand that? God the Father. So Jesus is, is just taking from God the Father. Okay. So he's not divine you himself. Know, there's only one way of answering, and that's to use lots of New Testament verses to give you the weight of what I'm trying to say. The most important one is this. Jesus Christ, who though he was taken in the form of God, did not regard equality Philippians. with God or something, yeah, yeah, to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness, being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even on a cross. And the other one is Hebrews, you know that, Hebrews 2, 9. But we see Jesus, who for a little while was made lower than the angels, now crowned in glory and honour because of the suffering of death, so that by the grace of God he must might taste death for everyone. Okay, Jesus is the source. Jesus' source is God the Father. All Jesus does and says is according to his Father's will and purpose. It was God's will to withhold the time of the second coming, and as such, Jesus could not know until the time it was revealed to him, because he he he, is, he comes from the source, and it's up to the source to supply Jesus with whatever knowledge he wants. Right. He said, "Whatever I see and speak of the Father." That, last that, point, you're adding to the confusion. No, last, last point. Yes. For I've not spoken on my own, but the Father who sent me yes. has Himself given me a commandment about what, what to, to say, say and yes. speak. Yes. And I know that His commandment is eternal life. What I speak, therefore, I speak as the Father has told me. Me. Now, obviously, the Father has chosen not to reveal to Jesus Christ the hour or the day. I'm not mentioning the hour or the day. I'm not going to mark that in thirty-two. What I'm saying to you, you said Jesus has two, two natures. Okay. So what made him divine if he has to rely on the Father? What made him divine? Yeah. Okay. At the, that's a very, very good point. Very, very good point. When uh, I still go back to my point yeah, about yeah, uh, no, no, Solomon's no, no, temple. No, 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 I know. I'm, <laughs> so I'm not, we're Solomon. going around because yeah. this is like the start of a whole debate on the Trinity, yeah, yeah. and it would be better if we'd have stuck on that because we're kind of halfway into. Can this you new answer debate. without going there? Okay. No, I, I must. I must have no, reference no. to this. I can reference you if, if you ask me. But what I'm saying to you, if Jesus has two natures, yeah. and you read verses now yeah. that he relied on the Father yeah. for the source. Yeah. Right? I need you to tell me what this source, what do you mean by the, source the is power? The, Father. the power. Yeah. Right. So when he raised Lazarus, yeah. who raised him? Jesus or the Father? It was through the power of God. Right. Yeah. Like Acts 2.22 says. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. So now I agree with you there. Yeah. Jesus, God used him. And through him he did the miracles. Through he, him he did the miracles. Because yeah. God uses his word. Jesus right. is the word of God. Yeah. No, no. Follow, follow my point. Yeah, yeah, follow. Yeah, so yeah. we've established Jesus didn't do anything by himself. It was through the it is the Father through him that did it. Yeah? We established this. Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. So now go back I don't to think my I'm walking into a pre No, no. Pre go back to my I'm going to go naturally with what go, you Go go back to my original point. Yeah. So what made him divine? What made him divine? Yeah. Who's his father? Who's Jesus? No, no, no. no don't go to the father. I'm, I'm, I'm going to the man you. Jesus. What makes Jesus Christ divine. Why are you going to the Father? Because that's who makes him divine. Right. So, <laughs> yeah. So he's divine because the Father is his Father. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah. So if he the had father no father, 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 yeah, yeah, his Father is God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. So, if a priest, for example, sure, yeah. <laughs> on, on. has no mother and no father, is he divine? If the priest has no mother yeah. and no father, yeah. because you're your Adam, reference, presumably. your reference, yeah. your reference, yeah. you can take that if you want, but it's not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it could be. <laughs> he knows who it is. Because Jesus yeah. was the second but Adam. My, my point is this: yeah, your your main argument in that situation was yeah. that because the Father, in your belief, is the Father of Jesus, that makes him divine. Yes, yes, that was yeah. your. Just like with the tabernacle. 
yeah. If 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 you okay, you said Adam. Let's go with Adam for a second. Yeah, sure. If Adam has no uh, mother or father, and he's a creation, so he's been created. Is he divine? Well, Adam. Yeah. Is Adam divine? Because he was created. No. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. no. The brother there, he's answering. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, so what you're saying is, I'm making the claim that Father, Jesus is divine. Yes. So surely Adam should, 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 yeah, should, yeah. should be divine as well. Because on the basis, I'll, 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 I'll just clarify. Because yeah, yeah, on the basis yeah, that you point. stated, Jesus's father yes. is God. So therefore. Jesus is divine. Because okay. Adam is known as the son of God. Right, yeah. And Solomon yeah. is known as God. If we look at how, how Adam came into being, yeah. God... Is he called the son of God, though? Is he called the son of God? God used some clay, right? And he breathed life into it. Yes. Yeah, that's Adam. Okay. Now, with Jesus... Jesus... It is. No, I don't want to divert no, no, no. Is, is Adam called the son of God? Luke chapter, uh, chapter, three, chapter 3, verse 38. Adam, the son of God. So is, is Adam divine, then? Okay, you want to know, are we talking about Jesus' divinity now? Is that where we're no. going? We're making the comparison, I would say. Then. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, sure. Adam and Jesus. Yeah. Right, let's, so, let's, let's focus on, the, on what so I asked you. Wait, as I'm looking, I'm listening. No, Sorry, if, if you say Jesus is divine because of who his Father is, yeah. who has the attributes of divinity? Jesus or the Father? The Father. The Father. Yeah. So Jesus, why would you call him a divine person if he doesn't have any attributes of divinity? You're saying that Jesus didn't have any attributes That's of That's what you're saying. No, are you saying You that? said the source is the Father. The source I didn't is, say that. No, no, no. The source I don't is, believe that. Yeah, the source is the Father, yeah. but through the Son, God is using his power. So when Jesus raised the dead, when he cured the blind, yeah. when he rose from the dead, which I know you don't agree with. Okay, I agree with it. It's through, through God. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All of these Jesus things, confirms this. Can, can we all agree yeah. that something very, very special was being worked through no, no. Jesus Just Christ. as other prophets. Yeah. Like Moses. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I, I, please don't oh, be distracted. No, no, this you, is really you, more. You, you, I'm thinking on a level Colin, far Colin, Colin, higher Colin. than You're Moses. using words to distract us. No, I want to keep then, with you, but right. this is a more... Can we agree in all this is distraction okay, words? Okay, yeah. But what I'm saying to you, that if... if do you have div uh, divine qualities with you? Do I... Well, no, 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 please don't... Like, just ask, all, ask someone all, a question. Listen, answer you ask my question. me a question. I won't take very long on yeah. it, but you're delaying a very quick response. When is God, yes no? no, when God created man, he made him in his image. I'm asking you specifically, are yes. you, do you have divine qualities? As God has got, yeah, yeah, this is, no, no, is that listen, no, 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 you're not accepting my answer, that's the problem. Are, are we made in the image of God? I'm asking you, I, yes. do you have divine qualities, qualities no, of divine? No, 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 listen, do you when, have when I say obviously yes, you're going to leap in and probably say, can you heal the dead, can you do no, things? No, 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 I'm, I'm not, not claiming to be Messiah. Do not preempt my answers, just uh, answer my question. Maybe I'm suspicious of the way you're going with this. <laughs> I, I, you, I just want to ask, you know I want to ask. Just you just just along no, okay, okay, okay. Can we have a discussion? I've asked you a question. Go on then. Do you have divine qualities with you? Simple question. Yeah, go on then, yeah. You have divine qualities? Yeah. What are they? Immortality. Immortality. Of my spirit, yeah. Yeah. Did you have a... go to heaven oh, or no, 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 no. Oh, no. Immortality it. is yeah. not... Do you have a beginning? Do I have a beginning? Yeah, yeah an Adam, yeah. Is Colin... Does Colin have an end? Does Colin have an end? Yeah. Well, my body will die, as you yeah. know. Did your soul spirit, have a beginning? My, no, my soul will be everlasting in one of two places. They have a beginning, though. Well, you know what it says in the Psalms that he knew me before I was born, before I was formed in the womb. So were you forever? So, so God's plan was forever that I be in this, in the, on this earth. He didn't just decide on the spur of the moment when I have Colin. This Colin, was all planned I'm right guessing, the I'm guessing, beginning. and I'll be very generous, I'm guessing you're probably 50 years old. 54, yeah. right. 54. 70 years ago was Colin here. On this earth, yeah. no way was he. Right. Here. So you don't have the divine qualities. Hang on, hang on. Sorry, he came man. into existence. My, my dad was here. Are you? Your dad's not yourself. No, hang on. You say that genetically. When you see, when you see the son, you see the father. You'll see my dad here. But that sounds like a tan. Would kind your of dad argue, argue, not argue like you're arguing? I don't, I doubt uh, no, it. I, I don't know. Maybe so it's not you. Come and go on. My qu question again to you: Do you yeah. have divine qualities? Do I have divine qualities? I've one divine quality, and that was I was made in the image of God. I have a soul that will have an immortal end, which will either be in heaven or hell for eternity. And I was. And, and God knew I was going to come in from eternity and so that didn't come as a mistake. So that's it. Yeah. See? Oh, yeah. My body is most definitely mortal and nearly met it today in the park as well, mate. Go on. See, yeah. there's a difference. There's a difference between the knowledge of God and you coming to existence. Right? Yeah. But 
what I'm asking you again. Right, yeah. See the qualities of a divine being. The qualities of divine being. Yeah. Do you have them? The qualities? Well, I've only I've given you one quality. And we that's disagree with I, that. I but, know but you see, what are you doing? Help me out. Well, explain to you why, me why you yeah. disagree. Because, uh, um, yeah. I would say because in that, terms of your immortal soul, yeah. Yeah? we disagree because uh, the divine nature of God is that he had no beginning, no end. Your soul had a beginning. Yes, in the knowledge of God, yes. you you know, he knew you would come to existence at a certain point in time. Sure. But your soul was given to you. In conception. And, and through, yeah, during so conception. So you had a beginning. So you had a but beginning. what I'm saying to you, do you have the qualities of God? Are you com can you com be compared to God? Do you have the qualities of God? God was made in his image. That's the only quality. No, but that's, that's you being made in his image, not uh, acquiring an attribute from him. Oh yeah, let's just say, I am not capable... The clue is in yeah, what he said. Go if go I was made... Yeah. That's the clue. Yeah. You're answering your own question, you're not even paying attention. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Uh, 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 uh,